Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapnuski, and thank you so much for popping by my channel. So in the last video, I taught you guys how to do an animated text or a title box in LumaFusion, which is great. But what if you want to use that same text or title box in another video, but not have it be an individual clip, so it's not going to be on a black screen, but you want it superimposed over one of your videos. So if you don't understand what I'm talking about, I'm going to roll it right now at the bottom of the screen. How can we make that happen for you? We're going to use that same text or title box animation clip. We're just going to add an element of chroma key or green screen to that particular movie. So let's go ahead and teach you guys how to do that. And I'm gonna stand for this one because my legs are killing me. I love the overhead cam, makes it so much easier. So let's go ahead and launch LumaFusion. Okay, so let's start a new project. Now what we wanna do is find that original clip that we had worked on that was called Title Box. What we wanna do is duplicate that. So we just hit the plus button right there and that is going to duplicate that movie so we're going to go ahead and double click that and that is going to bring us to this screen so what we want to do is add a green screen element to this particular video so in order to do that we need to go to titles let's pick the plain title drag it hold it now what we want to do is hold it right on top of the very first timeline clip right over it and you're going to see it's going to be highlighted yellow release it and what that's going to do is replace the beginning of that clip so what we want to do now is just stretch that out to be about several seconds long okay so now what we want to do is shrink this by pulling it together with our fingers so now what we want to do is start stacking these videos on top of this particular title clip. And in order to do that, you can't just grab these and move them together. That would be nice if we could do that. However, we can't grab it no matter where we put it. We cannot do that. So what we need to do is to unlink these and do them layer by layer on top of that title clip. So to unlink them, now before we do that, I just wanna say, see how everything is cut evenly on the same side, on the right-hand side? We want to build those layers in that same order on top of this title clip. So what we wanna do is unlink everything. See how that released the white lines? Let me do that again so you can see. The white lines, we hit this, unlink, and it's going to release that. So what I wanna do is grab this, hold it, and drag it right on top of there and release it. We're going to do this with every single layer. Now you want it perfect. Okay, so what we want to do now, this first title that we just added, we're going to double click that. We're going to highlight that and just throw it in the garbage can. Let's hit plus, add shape, and expand this shape out the entire size of the screen. We want to change the face color of this to green. I don't know why I just did that. Okay, so we're gonna back out of that. So now what we need to do, all of these separate layers, we need to tell them that they are going to be in a green screen format. So let's go ahead and edit each and every one of these individual clips or layers. So we'll go to the first one, double click it, 
and this is going to bring us over to the edit screen. So what we want to do is hit this particular icon, which is the color and effects icon. Now what we want to do is go up to the key, hit key, and hit green screen. Now do you see over here these little dials? See these notches? These are going to be the recommended places where LumaFusion wants you to have that in order to get the best view for green screen. So we're going to go through and do that with every single layer. Color and effects, green screen, select green screen. Edit these so that it's exactly where it should be. Let's do the next layer. Color and effects, green screen. Next layer. Green screen. Color and effects, green screen. Just make sure everything's in order. Okay, that looks good. So now what we want to do is save this to our iCloud drive, or if you don't have an iCloud drive, save it to your photo roll. So let's go ahead, hit share, movie. I have an iCloud drive, so I'm going to send it there. Title box, I'm going to put title box for GS, that stands for green screen. Add it to whatever folder I want it to be in. Okay, so now what I want to do is go over to my iCloud Drive and retrieve this very clip that we just made. Now what I want to do is send this over to LumaFusion as its own movie as its own little clip. Okay, so what I wanna do is just, let's open another video to see if this worked. So what we wanna do is grab this and just drop it right there on top of that video. And what we wanna have this do is appear right over that video. So we double click that. Now once again, we're going to hit color and effects, okay, which it's already there. Go to the key, green screen. Now once again, we're going to have to dial in the recommended settings from LumaFusion. And this is going to clean everything up. So let's see. Well, hello there, Let me mute this. And that is how you do that. But let's say that I wanted to make this a little smaller, no problem. We just go to frame and fit and we can shrink that down. Let's say if I just wanted to have that, oops, at the very bottom of the screen, just like that. Let's see how that looks. That looks great. Well, that's it, guys. That's how you add an element of chroma key or green screen to one of your clips to get it to be superimposed on top of one of your videos. I thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, wear your sunblock. Could save your life, by the way.